Hey, this is Dean. I wanted to show off the newest mod coming out of China for Game Boys, and this one is for the Game Boy Pocket. What it is, is it's using the same exact screen that's been going into the Game Boy Colors lately, uh, also the same PCB. So uh, this is confirmed because the seller gave me uh, an extra ribbon cable and told me that I could put this into a Game Boy Color if I wanted to, and it's gonna work uh, perfect in color. So since the Game Boy Pockets were never in color, this screen is straight up black and white, and it looks crystal clear. So I will show you um, how the mod is installed in the case, or, or what you can see, since I'm using a clear case. Then I will show you um, exactly what it looks like, the screen. And then I'll just kind of show you how you install it. It's fairly straightforward. It's, for the most part, drop-in. All right, so here is the custom ribbon cable right here that you can see in the back. You do have to solder this one wire from this point on the power switch to this point right here. The solder point next to that goes to a fuse, but you actually don't have to install it. Um, when I had it on, I couldn't get it to start, but uh, I'm not sure because I also ended up cleaning out my switch. So maybe I just had another issue with it. But the seller says that you don't need the uh, second wire. So this is all you need. And it works absolutely perfect. All right, so they also included this uh, custom glass screen, which hides the uh, the white bezels that you see on the Game Boy Color mods from like uh, Freckle Shack and McWill. So the Chinese ones actually include a good custom screen to get rid of that. So that's awesome. They did put Game Boy Pocket Light on it, and um, I think they meant to put L-I-G-H-T for light. Uh, however, they put light. So, uh, I mean, it's whatever. I don't really care. So, let me show you what it looks like. And as you can see, it is crystal clear. Uh, there's going to be no volume just because um, Nintendo likes to copyright strike people based off of the music, so. All right, but as you can see, it is just so crystal clear. Uh, it looks absolutely perfect. The pixels are perfect. There's no uh, like weird distortions. These shapes are exactly how they should be. I've had no problems with it. Um, hasn't gotten slow or anything like that. It's just been running absolutely perfect. Uh, there is also a brightness controller on this, which is up here in this corner. So, which you just touch. So, as you can see, you can cycle through and you can actually turn it all the way off, which that's off. So, then it's like a normal screen that uses the reflector and then back on. Yep. Uh, as I said, it's, it just looks absolutely perfect. All right, so what I will do is I will show you on this case I have right here uh, what you need to modify. So, um, and this is kind of, if you want to, you don't even really have to do this. So these little nubs right here, uh, this is an aftermarket case, but on a real case, these nubs are gonna be here as well. These are actually where you line up the corners of the screen. So this would be uh, this edge going up, we'll line up on that. And then this one will line up on that one. I printed off the 3D brackets that you use on a Game Boy Color, and they actually worked absolutely perfect for me. So what I did was I put the skinny one on this side, and I hot glued it in. Then I put the screen all the way against it, and made sure it was down all the way down here. And uh, before I put the screen in, I, before I glued it in, I put the uh, glass screen up to it, without the center section in there, just to make sure that everything was absolutely centered. You can tell there's kind of a square that goes around that's black. So you can see when it is actually centered. Uh, so at that point, once I had it exactly where I wanted it, I put some hot glue on that to attach it, the screen to the bracket. Then I put the other bracket on this side, hot glued it in, and then did the same thing. Put a, just a thin bit of hot glue on that just to connect them. From there, uh, it's just like a Game Boy Color. You just put the ribbon cable to the uh, PCB board and then put the, uh, the PCB board and then you have the other ribbon cable that goes to the main motherboard. It's, it's super easy. Then uh, up here is the brightness controller and it is uh, 
it's really nice because it actually is it's really hidden it's hard to see yeah you're not even going to be able to really see it you can you can barely see the ribbon cable right there uh what it does is it just sits underneath the power switch so that's why you can tap right here and it does brightness control yeah so all in all i am extremely happy with this mod uh like i said it looks excellent um, I haven't been able to test the battery life yet because I only just got done installing it and I wanted to show it off. But um, yeah, as soon as I get some good testing in it, I will try to report back with how my battery life's going. All right, I will leave a link to the um, AliExpress seller that I use. I've used him for multiple other screens and, and carts and whatnot, and he's an excellent seller. So, oh yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and write any comments you want and I'll try to answer them back. I, I answer back to every comment that shows up on my videos. So, all right, have a great day. Bye.